Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and today I have my tournament match with Problems IRL for the Balls of Steel tournament. And uh, there's some things I could say about this, mostly being the starting, uh, the first round wasn't too hot and... Uh, really didn't make much in the second round, but I hope you all enjoy this video. If you do, you know, be sure to throw that like on there. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and be sure to check the description for the link to the Balls of Steel and all of that. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and let this video play out. Hope you all enjoy. Catch you later. Bye. A sick pony, and I rode it frequently. I wanted to be a cowboy growing up. Thought that was a good profession to get into. I had a tiny Captain America shield. And a Magneto glove and helmet. Mm. I hated Magneto though. I don't know. I like Wolverine. Five dollars from Jimmy Henrik. I love your beards equally. Thanks for setting this up, guys. I think we missed some subs too. Jeez. Dad of Two months. There you go. You got it. We missed one earlier too, and I was reading a donation though. And my Whoever you are, white. we love you. We love you. Best of luck to both racers. They're still in the winner's bracket, so they can both lose and still be in the tournament, but nobody wants to. They want to continue their domination in the winner's bracket up to this point. The big advantage being in the winner's bracket, besides just the final game, getting that one up, having to be beat twice, two out of three, by your opponent. You play less games in the winner's bracket. You can look at the bracket and see that for yourselves. It is less games required. Um, Punny's going to lose intentionally because he wants to play more games. So that should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he wants to race every day, all day. Ticks are hungry, so they do like, they're greedy and they like to feed. So, mm -hmm. I can equivalent that. 1069 from Osama bin Balin, 95. It's time for Baru to get his revenge after all the practice races him and Problems have done. Go Baru! By the way, love the tournament, guys. Super entertaining to watch. We're really glad you guys are enjoying it. That's what we aim to do. And also to give these racers a, a great place to, to come and show us what they got. Uh -oh. It's brought so many people together. I mean, that's just an amazing part of it, to watch how many guys are dual casting day to day when normally they're doing their own thing in speed running or doing their own thing in streaking. It's, it's cool to see them come together and race a lot. Yeah, we finally got a starting item on one side after, well, it wasn't that long. It feel, felt longer. Yeah. Felt like a while. Death Touch Arena. Cobalt channel title. I I can't even log into Twitch, guys. I'm like, changing the channel titles. That's on me. And it's changed, okay? It's already changed. You just need to refresh. Don't listen to my typing fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you refresh before you said that, guys? God. Jeez. Slackers. I love just watching the seed name scroll by. You like license plates trying to come up with interesting shadow wisdom or whatever the hell it was earlier that I thought it was. Shadow All right. Moon. Alright, game. Give Baru a little something something here. Death Touch is a good starting item. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great potential item. However, it... Uh, it isn't something that, you know, Baru's got to be totally panicked about. Yeah, unless he makes some tier 8 or chocolate yeah. milk or something with that, or Matra's lung. Yeah. That's the nice it's, thing. It's okay. That's the nice thing about Death Touch, is it goes with everything. It doesn't hurt any build at all. That Waka Waka challenge. Shadow Silk, yes. The Shadow Silks. <laughs> Rissa with the five dollars. Great tournament so far. An entertaining commentary. Good job. P.S. Team Pancakes. I read that incorrectly. Yes. I said Team Pancakes. And you said yes. That's wrong. <laughs> but she actually said Team Waffles. So I was just lying because that's I'm what I angry. meant. That's what I meant. You said you read it incorrectly, so I knew it was Waffles. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Exactly. Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do shuffle these problems? Him. He's gonna shuffle all three for the key. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll respect it. 
It seems like a crazy amount of time. Yeah, talk yeah. about skipping a rock or something for, yeah. for uh, Golden Poop. Definitely was worth. Well, it was worth it to blow the chest up anyway. I don't know about the key still. <laughs> really, really surprised he doesn't roll that. It's, it, it rolls into the gold chest pool. Um, and he had that battery sitting right there. So he's got a really good chance. I mean, like a one in six chance, or I'm not going to do the math. It's less It's, it's, it's less than ten items in that pool. So he's got a pretty damn good chance at Cricket's head. That that, that chest pool. And he knows that, so he must uh, just want to save the battery in case his boss remind him is really bad. Thinks his odds aren't high enough to get Cricket's head. But really, the nice part with those gold chest items is that there's only one that you, you don't want at all. And he has Death Touch. I really thought he would roll it. Go for Tammy's head, go for Cricket's head. Tammy's head is takeable on Basement 2 with Death Touch. Like, straight up, it is worth taking. It could be awesome. It is totally a strong item. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Does he could force it now? As much oh as we've talked, God. as much as we've talked about Tammy's head, he could force a big one here. I mean, that, that, that pool is so full of head, and those heads are nice. Why are those heads all up in the chest anyway? Crazy head. the head full chest. Finally a start for Baru here. You just bought this game. We'll enjoy it, Argar. We're playing like... Like this tournament, everybody's playing at really uh, high levels, so... A little different than your casual game, but you'll learn a lot about how the game functions. Mm-hmm. The Blighted Ovum. Oh, run! Oh, my balls. Okay. Just a shadow. He's going for it, of course. Hope the door stays open and you can get your black hearts back. Holy Mantle, Sin Robes, oh, and a Cat of Nine for Baru. Cat Interesting. We got 169 from Decoy, and Boss One Dick promised to steal one of my kidneys via shanking. <laughs> I still have my two kidneys, Dick. You're slacking, Dick. Also, high cobalt. <laughs> and 669 from JC Denton. So, Dick, what Arizona drink are you always drinking? Arizona Arts Energy. Yeah, it's like 8,000 grams of sugar in a can. Mmm, so delicious. Let's see what happens now with this chest room. He's going to definitely take the roll. Go grab your battery. It's the flight. Not the worst thing ever. Like I said, that pool doesn't have really... There's a couple of items. The only one that you're going to really say no to is um, Bob's brain. The rest of them, you're either just going to touch them and leave them behind, or you're going to take them. Oh, now you're in trouble, Baru. Yeah, I love it though, man. I love it. I mean, I've been saying this since Problems Tryout. He's playing my favorite game of all the racers out there. Uh, he took, took his time and just abused that basement too. Seven minutes and 40 seconds on basement two with a death touch start. But look at what he left with. For that money, honey. are getting pretty big from that Judas' shadow. This is not elimination, no. This is a winner's bracket round. Both these guys can lose this and stay in the tournament. They'll just have to be going to the dark room. Has uh, Baru been practicing any dark room stuff? Or has he been sticking mostly with the I chest? Think, I think both of them have done a little bit. I've raced them both in the last two days and they both talked about doing it a little bit. They've been putting a lot of time into practicing, for sure. The Super Bandito. I'm really looking forward to doing some co-op uh, speedruns. That's going to be a lot of fun. Won't be long now. Next week. Actually, we'll see each other, uh, like, in two days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, Jim's, Jim's surprise! <laughs> 
I'm gonna be at Jim Drizzles. I'm probably gonna do a dual cast with Jim. Oh, oh fun. boy. That random mushroom, too. Oh, can you guys come pick me up from the airport, maybe? And Very nice. Oh. I found I found my ride from the airport. You deal with your own shit. Well, I think Jim's like 30 minutes away. I just wanted to hang out with you guys, honestly. <laughs> no, I'll see what's going on. Okay. Magic mushroom, so good. Magic mushroom. Triple cast? Yeah, but I get in much later, Jim. I get in at like an 11. So. Yeah, he gets in at night. You say poor Baru, but it's only the first round, guys. You never know what's going to happen. He it's can only the just... first round, and they're both in the caves. Yeah. Like, we've seen one room guppies, Godhead. He just made piercing there, which is really nice for him. No problems with the big speed guy, but he might. No, nope, he's gonna go ahead there and take the speed. He was already pretty quick. I thought maybe he. He's already got mapping too, though. I guess yeah, it doesn't really matter at that point. He just takes the two items. He doesn't really need much else from his shop. Everything else is just a bonus. No, these are best two out of three. You need two wins over your opponent to um to beat them in the match. On top of being winner's bracket, loser's bracket. Both these guys, like I said, already in the winner's bracket, so. Well, Sinta. Uh, uh, uh. Stacks on stacks. What's the reason for darkroom runs? Basically for variety, for fun. Um, give us something a little different to watch and the racers a little something different to play. Yep. It's keep doable. Us, keep us from getting stuck in the exact same routine. Everybody's spending all week practicing the exact same thing. So now you can go to different channels and see different different people practicing different finishes. Strategy similar. Slight variations in what you want. Why well, not we make were... the finals Mega Satan? That may be the plan already. We were thinking about it. It's all been contemplated, believe me. We put a lot of thought into this, guys. That was a really nice pickup for problems, too. A lot of the times you're going to see guys skipping that, but not in this situation. Not when you're on Death's Touch with Tier 8 down and his only Tier up before that was Halo. That's oh, going to be really big pickup there. His 48 hour energies coming in for problems are. And he has the habit with really full nice. health. With full health. He can force whatever he wants right now, I think. If he wants to be greedy, he can go straight ham. Alright, chat, my pizza is in the fridge, currently becoming cold and delicious. That's if that's, you instantly put your pizza in the, your fridge, that's just a sin. That's wrong. That's just weird. That's just taking it to the next level. He didn't say no to the pentagram. He took the pentagram on a single item. He did burn that 40 hour energy there. Probably because he wants to grab the moon card so he can bounce out of his uh, boss rush. Uh, looks like, yeah, I'm correct. He is going to go back and grab that moon card for the boss rush. Open himself up to more item opportunity. And thanks for the dollar sixty nine from Hey Look It's Jake. Unlike political donations, I know this will make a difference. Great casting, fellas. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jake. Uh, it definitely makes a difference. <laughs> Baru did take the role there on Rotten Baby. A lot of you are probably wondering, Rotten Baby, it's good, but he's looking for that desperation grab to get something that can keep him on pace here. Thanks, Jet Rocket. 
Yeah, I don't know what he's going to be able to grab here besides sort of like a triple cat deal or something. He's, he's got a goat head. He can make a lot of deals, but can he get there fast enough before problems is too far ahead? The Holy Mantle Sack Dagger is nice, but he's moving really slow. He doesn't even have much speed at all. His movement speed is terrible, yeah. Which could be Where an you, issue and, when you're trying to put out Sack Dagger damage. And you've got problems whose sonic speed over here. Oh my, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get out of town. That is just unnecessary. That is unnecessary roughness. Flag in the play. Wow. Well, okay. Hey, welcome back in tens. Thanks for the resub. Huh. Very surprised problems jumped on that pack there and didn't just set it up and just knock it out with Guppy. Really surprised yeah. he didn't grab that tiny planet after tiny. we saw how OP it was. <laughs> yeah, he does have the much better <laughs> much better build for Tiny Planet. Still not worth. Oh wait, he's already Guppy. My bad. My bad. He's already a cat too. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. I thought he needed three. I'm sorry. Dwayne just, just subscribed. Thank you. He already had it. Never mind. You got that right. Problems. My bad. You dirty fucker. He's going this full ham. Not nice. Not nice. Eight. Almost eight minutes leaving basement two. Fifteen minutes going into womb two. Okay, co carry. Cobalt carry. It could be faster. I mean, he spent a lot of time on that first that first two floors. The golden chest is the chest. They want the Polaroid. Winner's brackets chest, loser's brackets, dark room, boys and girls. Just a reminder. Don't panic. They took the he took the right item. All he needs now is his mapping. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there you go, Jim. Let's throw some random wait, he already has that too. He needs the map. Go ahead, game. At this point, go ahead. Talk about a disheartening start of your Byron. Because Byron's making decent time for his build, too. He's played a good game with what he's got. The single item Devil Deal curse over there for him, though. It's been nothing but single items. Look, more of them. Oh, get out of here. He shoots a couple angry tears in its direction. I get it. It deserved it. Oh, there's Abel. Definitely a one run now. I'll go with 18... 1826. 1826. Uh oh, a minute and a half. Oh, come on. Don't dead end me problems. Don't think of the... Surprised he doesn't throw that moon down. With how awkward that start was, it won't. It won't be. It won't be 1824 probably now. But I'm gonna stick to my guns. I have faith. He's fast. He's super fast. If the game keeps doing this kind of stuff, it's going to slow him down. How was I supposed to predict a Joker card? Missed it by that much. Nope. No Cobalt. Dude, I'm so close. So close. It is. I didn't make it. Under 19. Was it? Was it? Was it over? Damn it. It's 
Stupid. Stupid double dead ends. I, and really, I give Baru all the credit in the world for even putting down that kind of time with the build he had. It was not good for him. Long resets. He took a start that wasn't spectacular just to try to get moving. You just got to throw that one away. There's your throwaway round and play the best games you've played here. And, and but problems. Had seven minutes to put together a really, really strong start. Oh, my mic was... Oh. What? You could hear me, but they couldn't. The whole time I was huh. talking when I predicted 1904. Where are you, Cobalt? Wait, 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 wait. When you predicted 1904? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cobalt quit. I quit, guys. I just dropped the mic and walked you out. Just walked out. All that juicy commentary, commentary gone. He said some great things. Yeah, it was... Probably the best commentary of my life. GG. That's right, throw those boss hammers down. I can't even do it. I can't even sign into Twitch you right now. You can't even do the emote. Wait, what's the fucking... I'm not gonna be able to do it this chat. It's impossible. It's impossible, never mind. I'm gonna have to send a message into Twitch. Oh. oh my god. Hmm. Mega Stan just shot a Kamehameha Bible Thumb. <laughs> that's not even an emote. Like, what is That's just terrible huh. ASCII. Tail into tail. My favorite reroll. Problems hates the tail, too. He's not a fan. He does not like it. We've talked about it a lot. I hate how, starting that shit. How could you, Baru? How could you reroll Infestation 2? Lilla Toucan has arrived. It's your item. So I'm just going to do a little peek on this goat head here, see if he can't find an item room to go with it. He's got his dice up. Best case scenario to do a little peekage. Always changed his mind on that Infestation start now. Well, yeah, I think, I think everyone's given up on the Infestation 2 start. Just not strong enough by itself. Halo, Problem. Goathead, nope. Problem says nope, not strong enough. I like me a Goathead, but not that much. I mean, he can go for the Super Carry. He's up around right now. So he can take a little bit of extra time resetting if he wants, whatever he's comfortable with. Take point five for Admiral. Looks like he might start this. Good to see him off and running at a reasonable pace. Usually shooting for about two minutes. I say to be off basement two in about six minutes is pretty average. Gives you a pretty decent amount of time for resets and time to dick around a little bit with your backtracking another goat had to peek on for problems still has his roll up doesn't go very far that time spoiler alert didn't like the way that floor looked mm -mm. I'm hoping for a good 1-1 one, one final three race here always hope for the close matches as a commentator just more fun that way That's what we want as racers, too. That's all me and Problems were talking about this morning when we were racing each other. Let's just have good nice, close races. Good, we want close some races. good clean fun. Oh, Keep I it thought clean. He, I thought for a second his 48-hour energy was outside. <laughs> like, he popped it as he was going out the door, and I thought the batteries didn't appear. It was really oh, awkward wow. and delayed. The timing on that 48-hour energy. Not sure what he's going back for here. Damn, I can't even moderate chat. I guess I'll just log into the boss count for now. Since it'll let me log into that for some reason. Makes no sense. <clears throat> Problems is done. Poop. 
Promises them quite a few peaks here. I don't know what his strategy for breaking that gold tube is, but that is the incorrect strategy. You gotta fling them. Fling them. Side to side. Left to right. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah. The dream. The great item when your opponent's ahead of you. Still you consider. just get that from a basement one devil deal basement too, huh? Basement one teleport devil deal, yo. Half a heart! Half a heart, but he has the dream, which is really important. <laughs> the worst thing in the world to get on basement two. Blind! Too bad it was empty anyway. Ouch, double whammy. Double whammy. He's got lots of health. Didn't find his item room on this floor. Lots of money down in that room over there. I'm sorry, problems, but I want you to die to pin because I die to him sometimes. It's okay. It's okay to die to pin. I don't know about that. It's okay. Just let it happen. Let him take you. Jesus, juice. One bad room, one curse of the maze. Oh, it's no, the, there's a heart. It's the mully booms you're afraid of in this scenario. Yeah, the rooms with, that are crowded with the suckers, and there's like yeah. a fast one in the mix. Then you got it, and your only damage is your little brimstone. So you've got to charge up the little brimstone in between killing the mully booms. The one that sneaks me, fine. sneaks me the most with little brimstone. There we go. His health situation's all good now. Long backtrack there for Baru for that item room. That's key. Oh, what? Is, what? Oh, we're gonna take a shop with it. Okay. The candle. Run it. You could put up sub twenty times with the candle, no problem. <laughs> I mean, 25, 25. Sub twenty-five. Sorry. It is not worth at all. Not when you're just saying. On a, you can finish it. on a little brimstone. That floor really sucked for Baru. Having to backtrack and clear what, like five rooms there, mm -hmm. and get nothing out of it. Krampus for problems now, getting him out of the way. He's already locked in his deals with that first basement one devil deal, so he doesn't have to worry about the god rooms. With the coal. Baru got the quicker start here. He started that base tech, pushed it all the way, both floors, didn't make something good in his devil room. Or problems took the time to reset until he got a good curse room um, item that was a strong actual first floor devil deal, which could be definitely an acceptable start. Um, can't say, can't say, Brimstone. can't say no to the tech point five though. It is a very good item. Baru still has a good shot here. Definitely has the ability. I think tech point five is in most people's top five starting items. Not the ball gag. Problems, if problems can keep his tears down, if he doesn't get anything too big to go with his tears, so most of his focus is on the little brim, was that another magic mushroom out of mushrooms? Or am I crazy? Uh, I was watching that is another. That is another magic mushroom out of mushrooms. I think so. That's two in a row, baby. Mushrooms are good to you. It's not back-to-back go. -back godheads, but... I can't believe we had two godheads in that first one. Crazy. There we go. There's something for Baru. That'll go nice with his tech. It's his favorite. Now where's his D4? I don't think it's actually his favorite. I think we have just said that because he had a really awesome tryout with it. He told me though in a whisper it was in his favorite. Whisper. He just did it in right now. In my dreams. Yeah. Slash. He's just paused and whispered me. Don't kid Baru has a 48-hour energy pill in his pool. If he can get one of those on one of these god rooms, though, that actually are showing up. I was just assuming. Hi, god room. Oh, it's the stupid angel. It's doing a good job. Make it, make it fire itself. Yeah, burn, bitch. <laughs> burn, angel. Gosh. Uh, 
I still thinking that the for a lot of people the goth rooms are really scary. A chance to just explode. Gentle. And the, we've done the math now. The odds are pretty good you're gonna get one of the top three, and any of those right now would keep keep Baru on pace with with problems here. But Angel's taking no prisoners. Oh, it's almost like opening a pack of cards when you re-roll that. But you didn't get anything good. <laughs> Dead Dove is probably what? Fourth? Fifth? It could be debated depending on your build for fourth. So you got Spectral and you're matching your opponent's flying. Yeah. I mean, it's not... The Halo's great, but there's situations where Spectral could definitely be bigger for you. That Mr. Mega Head is so big and so goofy. <clears throat> Got a big old head. Problems has that Liberty Cap as well. He knows roughly where his boss is. They're keeping up with one another. That room was really rough for Baru. He just took red heart damage as well in it. I mean, you'd rather do it. You'd rather do it on the floor after your deal than any other time. Just assume you weren't going to get one anyway. Oof. Those bats being aggressive. Found his boss room very quickly. He's got to make a couple damage items here. He hasn't found anything from his boss rooms worth of shit. And he even rolled his boss room twice with that 48 hour energy. So far, though, Problems hasn't made a lot of tier damage, so it's still pretty much the little brimstone. He does have the magic mushroom, though. If he gets one or two damage ups, it's going to be a huge, huge boost to his speed. Why does everybody use my friend and Neil's face for that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Thank you. The narrator is Cobalt? Um, narrate. Narrate yes. me. Once upon a time on the blue ocean with the shiny stardust in the sky. I don't know. That was extreme. It was... I mean, you gotta start it off with a bang, gotta hook him with the, the first sentence. <laughs> the hook? Oh, right to the face of that Mr. Mega. <laughs> Baru did make a little damage on that last floor. I said he needed some. Keep that up, boss rooms. Give him some love here. I like Keep the it. synth. It's my favorite, one of my favorite shots. I still like growth hormones the best. It's such a weird looking shot, too. It's not even like the other shots. It's kind of stumpy. Those evil fires. The stealth Latoucan has arrived. <laughs> that emo, it looks so big to me. Potter's gotta play careful here, man. He's going real fast. I'm worried he's gonna get popped again. Take it easy. Get this deal or god room, whatever it may be. Whoo! This boss isn't too hard to dodge, but the problem is it's just off screen a lot. All right, just play it safe. Use that dead dove. The chasing party can get you with a quick start here. Mm-hmm, if the bomb boosts the other one and gives yeah. it a push. It can be very annoying. Yeah, and rocks don't protect you from bombs. You can't hide this phase, though. You won't stealth, Toucan. Don't tease me. I think it's worth the slow play, because he needs more. Nice to see problems. He usually, he's told me that he usually prefers the uh, the boss item roll over the single devil deal reroll, or yeah, single item devil deal reroll. Okay, here you go, here you go. Set it up, Baru. Got the 48. <clears throat> Got one more big one here. Oh, the dark bomb is not good enough. Not so big one. The the. Damage from Abaddon, that was going to be really nice with his, his spiders and his tech point five. I mean, that was still a pretty damn good deal for him. Got a cat touch. touch. Man. And, and Problems hasn't made a lot since that little brimstone and magic mushroom. No. Problems is um, 
Definitely going to start slowing down here as these enemies get more beefy moving into the womb. They're keeping pace with each other right now. These races have been really close today. Floor for floor, and then maybe one or two items offsetting the other guy to take the and lead. And taking the lead. I think that death from Slack was the biggest upset we've had tonight, that first round. That was a crazy race. I don't know. Baru's still got a chance to, to stay in here, guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would. I don't know how anyone is saying that Baru's out. Problems first to the boss room on the depths floor. That's his second. His depths, too. He's on his foot. Mm-hmm. Another small item there for Baru with a stigmata. That's a lot of spiders Baru's got built up. They're all gone now. <laughs> Suicide King. Don't think he bombed his judgy there. For the devil deal increased chance. Maybe he already has has one? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like problems makes too much out of that. A small no, rock he, for Admiral. He opted for the boss rush reroll, took Pyro for the bombs. Not a big pit take. He's already got the goat head, so he's 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 gonna miss out on the cathedral or chest deal by using his Joker to get 99 bombs. Something that's gonna help him now instead of way later in the game. Yeah, Baru's right behind him too. Not so far behind. A few rooms behind. Yeah, Scorpio. I feel like he's putting it down right now for Baru. Scorpio. Yeah. That's the difference maker. Just pull, just poisoning everything. These little enemies. <laughs> oh, he had some decent stuff in there too, but yeah, nothing spectacular. You're praying for that Judas's shadow or Ankh or something so you can the suicide, suicide king. king. Actually, I don't know how that would react. You probably have to read, probably re-trigger the boss rush with the items in the suicide. You just be able to use it to get out of there. Yeah. And uh, gets teleported to his devil to here, and a goat head just to slap it on there at the end. Not going to be helpful at all. The horror was nice. It really was. Yep. 1.5 damage and 0.3 move speed. These builds are very, very close. If It's going to come down to this deal, I think, for problems. And if, if, if problems doesn't make anything here, this could be a very nice, close race. Liberty Health cap advantage. Similar too. Liberty cap advantage to problems. It's just a mark, and he takes it. That's really not much at all. No, but he had a bad boss item, so he wanted that boss item reroll. That's that's what that's what Baru needed to see right there. This should keep this race pretty balanced. The body, he's gonna take it. Agree with that decision. Baru knows he takes more damage than problems. He wouldn't have any problem saying that out loud. And three hearts is a lot of health, plus you can continue to fill those up as you progress on. Oh, these dead ends are going to start putting him behind. Nobody's got that mapping to give themselves the edge. Problems has the liberty cap. I think that, that could be the, the difference Just maker the, in the run. The smidgen. Yeah. Using some liberty wiggle. Another dead end. Damn. Telepills. Goodbye, Suicide King. No more whore, though, also, for uh, picking up that body from Admiral Baru, so he's going to lose he'd that at, damage. He'd be at half a heart, though. Would he be or he would have had to play, or he would have had to play as much? Or he would have to play safer, yeah. He is taking a, a bit of heat here. And a full floor ahead now because of this full clear. No, is it? Yep, this is Womb 1. Still oh, yeah, you're right. He teleported from the challenge room. I forgot. Mama Gertie, at least you got the flying. Wiggle, problems wiggle. You got it. It was quick. I didn't even see it. I saw the mini boss. That was it. <clears throat> I was trying to incorporate those bombs on Daddy. 
Daddy says, nah, dude. I can dodge those. His health is dwindling, too, though. Nothing good. Torn photo a little bit better than that range up with the tier rate. Definitely. He didn't have any tier rate, I don't think, at that point. That was actually probably a pretty big pickup. His tiers aren't great, but he'll take anything you can get right now when the race is mm -hmm. this close. Yolo the telepills and hope for an advantage. <clears throat> There's nope. Could give you the skip altogether, man. At that point, you would on worst case scenario had to clear one more room. I guess it is pretty close. Baru has really fall, fallen behind since that horror loss, though. Gonna take a second and play a judgey. We don't see a lot of that. Yeah, he'd already been in that devil deal, guys. He'd already been in that devil deal. He does not want to die here. Three hearts left to go. Money equals power. Drain in a way. He's only getting a little bit of a damage, random, though. Random guppy's tail there for Baru. Just, hey, you need cat pieces? One away now. One, one away with no deals left. Got a goat head on wound one after he'd already seen his deal. Thanks, game. Have to hope for out of a red chest or a curse room. Good job using his flight in that room to not get beat up by the Gerties. Nothing worse than the loop floors, man. It's always the loop floors that take the time. Confuse ya. Oh, I hate that room Baru just got. It seems so simple, but I get hit in it like every damn time. It's because they bounce off the poops. Yeah. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. Both of them having really long floors here. Problem's Two gonna hearts. His, problem's going to take his time and try to find a super secret. This is the smart thing to do, him being up a run, I think, rather than try to force this and just die. He's still going to go for it. I, I would probably have just counted on my... I'm counting on my chest. I'm always so counting Mr. on Mr. Mega. Chest. I think he doesn't want to tank in this fight. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have... I thought he had the bandage ball. No, he doesn't have anything. Took some RNG beam there. Okay. One more bad RNG beam, and this could be really scary. Oh, my God. He's down to half of a heart. He's got him into the easy phase, though. He does. And he's got the movement speed. He can't really get trapped out. He'd have to get caught on the wrong side of the room with Isaac, like, yeah. shooting at him and then get a beam. He made that. He made him into phase three there, like, the perfect time after that RNG beam. Mm hmm. Or, no, the baby shot in the corner. And the Cathedral now for Admiral, who's made some health magically back. Yeah, he has made a bit of health. That is real scary knowing uh, you only have half a heart there, but. And the chest we trust. What's he backtracking for here? Is there Super some secret card? still. Super secret still. He's got those telepills. Oh, this could be nice for Baru if he can find a happy temperance card pickup. Sorry if that was a big giant temperance card spoiler. Get him back his Hora Babylon and he needs it. His speed and damage suffered so hard. Oh my god. Here's the chest. Curse it's of the blind. 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 Halo flies. Scapular, though, but it doesn't help you at all. Not yet. Not it's, yet. It's it's Daddy Longlegs' first room he walks into. The RNG Stompa. He just moved. Oh, my God. He moved up for, like, I don't know what reason, and it stomped right where he was standing. Mm-hmm. And these floor, uh, the, the, these chess rooms really don't give me red hearts, guys. All of these not bosses, often. unless they're champion versions of the bosses, you're not going to get red hearts. Because that's just how hard mode works. What was that? Uh, you're not going to... Oh, well. It, well, the, from the actual boss killing it. Not from Ouch. the room spawn. Yeah, the room has a chance to drop anything. Yeah. Ouch. That, it looked like a dead end with that Liberty Cat proc. He was hoping that he had the short chest. But it looked like a dead end. I'm sure he knew of it. 
Oh, now he's on his scapular proc with that one red heart. He's got two now. Problem's looking much stronger. Baru is really, really trying hard here to get to his boss fight, but... He may have time, man. If he makes big chests, he's got to watch his health and not not overdo this. So does problems. He, this is this is where you've got to pay really close attention to your your opponent because problems has a really long map here. It is a guaranteed like six eight. It is more like an eight to ten room floor unless he finds a really good secret room push shortcut because it's to the right of that dead end on the right side. So that means it's got to wrap all the way around. So he has a pretty good chance at being able to catch up here if he can just get through it in a, de you know, a decent pace. He doesn't have to overdo it. His problems doesn't have anything left on his floor to roll. He, he, all of his blind items were use site or uh, passive items. I'm clenching right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh no, that dark bums. <laughs> yeah, it's eating the hearts <laughs> up. Eight Maru's happy, so he can't even get his Horror Babylon back. He's on the Isaac fight, he's got that meat cue, or that the bandage ball, which is... Oh yeah, it's still gonna... Yeah, you can't use that like that. Painful. Now, Problems has a very time-consuming room here. Like I said, I... There it is. I honestly thought he could have slowed that down and just let his and hope his chest carried him through because doing that is not going to get you your win no. doing that is going to give problems a very good chance it is now he can just take his time full clear everything if he needs to look for all of his rooms the 67 bombs he has a less than three laying back there as well it's if you don't know it on the blind there is a less than three sitting back there he's got a scapular proc up which he just took a happy for there's two. It was behind oh, his okay. map. Yeah, it was he picked up two. Oh, I see. It's gonna be a nice slow finish for problems here. Good bomb problems, drop in front of lust. Problems definitely had to earn it. They're both You're pushing it really two. hard. Yeah. These guys are no strangers to racing, or racing each other for that yeah, they've matter. they've raced each other a few times. Is he going to take any time to maybe roll, or... He doesn't like blind items. I don't think he'd roll. He might do some bombing for super secret or secret. Mm -hmm. But he does not like the blind items. He does not take them very often. He took those there when he was at half a heart, obviously. That's another scenario. God, the odds of all four of those items being passives is crazy. Crazy. That was crazy. That scapular was the best thing you found there at the very end. Yeah. Taking the boom boom, which misses. He did use one scapular proc, too. I mean, it may have been intentional, though, with the hearts on the ground and not 100%. Now it's just a slow, safe play here. With those Mr. Megas, man. This is the most bomb usage I think we've seen in the tournament, actually for damage, mm -hmm. and not for bombing through rooms. He's getting really close to that boss, but he's still got a scapular proc. Yeah, which is two shots. Looks like a GG. That'll do it at 27 minutes. Not fast, really, at all. Um, well, depending, considering how they push each other, it was, I guess. Yeah. Very good run. Very good run. Wow, wow, wow. Whoopsie. G, G. And so who is that going to put uh, these guys racing? I guess we'll problems have to figure it out. Go, problems will go on to race the winner of Hyphenated Casper. Okay. About to say, we should be getting down there on the uh, winner's bracket. <laughs> but did Baru have a, sc a screen set up for if he lost? It's like two different <laughs> animations crying. He was prepared just in case. That's not a good opponent to get early, but Baru made it that far in the winner's bracket. He should be very proud for his first Isaac tournament.
new to the game in general. We're talking about with old Volpine, another guy who doesn't even, have really any waddle experience. Even getting into the tournament is a huge yeah. accomplishment at this point yeah. for a new player. And then to make it into the winner's bracket mm -hmm. that long is going to still help him out. Gets him jumped up ahead. He'll drop down to face off against, let's see who... Um, do, 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 do. Oh, this one doesn't Watch, show me. Slack's like gonna be waiting. Oh, oh wait, Slack's eliminated actually. Mm -hmm. I was about to say Slack's gonna be waiting for him, but way to rub it in. My bad. I wouldn't. Ex I, you know, I kind of forgot. He's usually pretty deep in our tournaments. Oh, we don't even. We yeah. See, he's jumping ahead, really far in the loser bracket. I won't know who he's racing for a while here. Won't be able to know his next opponent for a while. It'll be Yama Yama Ding Dong. Dark Dragon, Zamil, Exo, or DMZ loop. So he's jumping way ahead there. The longer you last in that winner's bracket, the better off you're going to be with the skipping races. You just want to try to get as many people eliminated as you can before you go out. Give you a better chance at coming back. So Exo SC2 versus.